Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network. Welcome, welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's morning prayer. We are here both on Clubhouse as well as on Facebook Live. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife. And I help um, powerful kingdom people change the way that they see themselves so they can live the life that Jesus Christ died for them to live. I do that by helping you to overcome fear, to receive healing and deliverance from past hurts and trauma, as well as uncovering hidden patterns that hinder destiny. So I help you take the word of God and make it applicable to your very situation. Because when you can appropriately apply the word of God to your life, you can be effective in all that God has called you to. And so this morning, we are in morning prayer and we're just going through, uh, we're gonna do a recap of the days that we have done so far. So we have done five days of prayer as we have prayed through my devotional, uh, my Identity is Secure, Daughter of the King, 30-Day Devotional. If you are a son of God listening to this, we are reminded that there is neither male nor female, uh, Greek nor Jew. And so I said Daughter of the King because that is what I am. And so just input son of the living God in that place. And so on day one, we learned that God is good. Day two, we prayed into God loves us. Uh, day three, we prayed about the God who fights for us. Day four, we prayed about God as our exceeding great reward. Day five, we prayed about God as our shield and our buckler. And so on this morning, we're going to pray about God being a holy God because section one is all about us um, and our service to God, how it is our privilege to serve him. And so before we get started, I would say if you know anyone who should be in the room, go ahead and ping them into this place. Um, as we press in, we're going to read the focal scripture. And then we are going to um, go in and pray on this morning. Uh, we're going to read this focal scripture and just allow God to be to move in this place. We'll read the devotional and then I'll read the prayer starter and I, I will pray as the Holy Spirit leads. Uh, once we are done with prayer on Facebook, you can send me your prayer requests and on uh, Clubhouse, I'm going to invite you guys up and you can let me know what your prayer requests are and we can enter in and pray concerning those things. So our focal scripture today comes from Isaiah 6, 3 in the King James Version and it reads, And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Powerful woman, God is a holy God. God is not like the world in any way. He is superior to everything in the world because of his holiness. Holy is defined as morally and spiritually excellent. It is important for you to know that you serve a holy God so that when uncleanness presents itself before you, you're not drawn to it thinking that it came from God. God is not going to send us anything unholy wanting us to participate in it. God wants our conversation to be holy. He wants our attitude to be holy. He wants our life to be holy. Any activity that we participate in that is contrary to God's holiness did not originate at the throne of God, but it came from the realm of Satan. What unholiness, so I, I pose a question, what unholiness have you experienced in your life that you thought originated from God? There are some things that are passed down to us generationally and we accept it as a way of life, but it's pure dysfunction. The dysfunctions in our lives are contrary to God's holiness. And he wants us to come out of agreement with them so we can be holy like he is holy. 1 Peter 1 16. There are some unholy practices that the world takes pleasure in that we may have to let go of. For example, God tells us that we will give an account for every idle word that we speak. Matthew 12 36. As a blood bought believer, um, is our speech full of idle words, something we have to take a look at and examine. Words that are humorous to us, but bring no honor to God. The word of God says that our speech is to be seasoned with salt, that we may know how to respond to people. Colossians 4, 6. When we have unholy or corrupted speech, we may say the first thing that comes to our minds, not seeking guidance from God and how we should respond. Since God is holy, his expectation is that we are holy. Holiness isn't difficult, it's just different than the standards that the world has. 
Today we must come to terms with the truth that we have been called to be different from those around us. We have been called to be in the world, but not of the world. John 17, 14 through 19. We have been called to be holy. Today we have to purify our views on holiness. We have to purify our view on holiness um, so we can remove the lies that say when we live a life of holiness, we can't have fun. And we have an attitude that says that we're better than everyone else. Holiness draws us closer to God and it causes us to have his heart and his mind concerning things. Holiness allows us to be kept from the evil way and to stand as a representative in the earth realm for God. God doesn't want us to be a witness for him if we are witnessing in unholiness. God wants us to represent him well so uh, well when we go into the world so that his name is not a name of reproach among those who do not know him. Romans 2.24 and so thank you, Jesus, for holiness. Thank you that we live a life of holiness and walk out your standards for life. We repent from moments that we thought that you were orchestrating unholiness in our life and desiring to see us stumble and fall in sin. We repent for the times that we misrepresented you to those around us. Lord, we ask that you show us how we can live a life of holiness that represents you well wherever we go. Father, show us the unholy practices that we have in our life so that we can release them and pick up your holiness. Lord, please help us to remember daily that we are royalty. And since we are royalty, we should carry ourselves as one who knows their value and status in you. Lord, teach us your ways. Teach us how to number our days so that we will always walk up right before you. Lord, there have been moments, oh Father God, where unholiness has overshadowed us, where people have entered into our lives and they have taught us unholy practices, oh Father God, where the dysfunctions of our families have overridden your word and the truth of who you are. But we ask now in this moment that you will reveal unto us those traditions that came from man, those traditions that are contrary to your word, those traditions that have taken us out of your very will, plans, and purposes for us. We say on this morning, oh Father Father God, that we surrender to your way, that we want what you want, that we desire to have what you have, oh Father God, that we know that your holiness is clean, oh Father God, that we will be able to enter into a realm where we feel clean in all that we do, oh Father God. We know that there is now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, that walk no longer after the flesh, oh Father God, that we would no longer fulfill the lust of the flesh, but we would allow your spirit to overwhelm us, that we would allow your spirit to impart into us, oh Father God, that we would allow your spirit to impregnate us, oh Father God, that we would live in righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, oh Father God, that we would know that your holiness is not a, a call for us to be um, upset, oh Father God, but it is a call for us to enter into your joy. It is a cause for us to be distinct, oh God. It is a call for us to be a people full of purpose, oh God, a people full of power, a people who are full of your majesty, who are full of your dominion, who are full of your might, oh God. It is a call for us to be a people who do great excellence exploits for our king. It is a call for us to be a people who surrender to your plans, oh Father God. We have been uh, uh, warring on the inside of us, oh Father God, with being in the world and out of the world. We have been warring with relationships that pull us back into the world, oh God. And we are asking on today that every mindset that we have of unholiness, that you purify it and you sanctify it. Lord, that we enter into a place where we are able to crucify our flesh, no longer seeking the comforts that we used to know, oh God, because we feel you beckoning us higher. We feel you calling us to into a place of purity, oh God. We feel you calling us into a place of holiness. We feel you calling us out of the brokenness of our souls into the brokenness of our spirits, oh God. We call you, we feel you calling us into a place of holy, of wholeness, oh Father God, because your holiness allows us to be whole in you, oh Father God. We feel you calling us into your peace, oh God. We feel you calling us into your joy, oh Father God. We feel you calling us into a place of total dependence upon you. And so we repent in the name of Jesus for every time we didn't depend on you, oh God. We repent for every moment where we said that we were going to do something to honor you, oh God, and we did what we felt in the moment, oh God. When we felt the pressure of life around us, oh God. When we felt the weight that came upon us, oh God, we repent in the name of Jesus for allowing the things that we saw to dictate how we responded. But we enter into a place of holiness where we can be consistent before you, oh God, that in your holiness, oh God, we will be able to produce after you, oh Father God. We would be able to allow your DNA to penetrate every area of our lives, oh Father God. We would be able to be able to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers, oh 
Father God. Lord, we are asking that your glory would overshadow us, that your manifest presence would enter into the midst of who we are, oh Father God, that you would even confront the very thing that is seeking to take us out, oh God, that no longer will we participate in our demise, but we enter into a place of our success. We shut down perpetual failure on this morning that will call us into unholiness. We shut down those lies of the enemy that would tell us that if we enter into plot plans and schemes, we would have success, but we shut down every pyramid scheme in the spirit, oh God. We declare and decree that we will only walk in wholeness. We will only walk in the holiness of who you are. We will allow your word to be a lamp at our feet and a light unto our path. We declare and decree freedom in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree freedom to enter into your joy, oh Father God. We declare and decree freedom to be who you have called us forth to be. And everything unholy that has been deposited in us, we abort it in the name of Jesus. We uproot that demonic seed that would call us into a place of unfaithfulness, oh God. We uproot that demonic seed that would call us into a place of fear. We uproot that demonic seed that would call us into a place of hatred. We were, uh, we uproot that demonic seed that would call us into a place of being bound, oh God, for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. We call ourselves holy because you are holy. We call ourselves a royal priesthood, oh Father God, a holy generation, those who have been set apart. And as royalty, we clothe ourselves in your royal garments on today, oh Father God. We put on the full armor, Father God. We place on the belt of truth, oh Father God. We gird our, up our loins in the name of Jesus. We put on the preparation of the gospel of peace, peace upon our feet, oh God. We put on the helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness, oh God. We utilize the shield of faith and your sword of the spirit, oh Father God. We enter into a place where we pray without ceasing, where we enter into uh, uh, moanings and groanings that we don't even understand, oh God. Where we allow your spirit to come in and move mightily on our behalf. We thank you in the name of Jesus for how you are working on the inside of us, for how you are breaking yokes, oh Father God, for how everything that has been shaping in iniquity on the inside of us is being destroyed, how we are people who have been called forth to be bloodline breakers how we are breaking out of the boxes of limitations and how you are turning our mess into a miracle how we are allowing you to enter into the places that we have closed off before because you are a holy God and because you will not hurt us oh father God we allow you to come into those broken places oh God we allow you to come down into those low places oh God we allow you to enter into those places where there is residue oh God we allow you to enter into those places oh father God where we have said no before oh God we enter into a place of yes we enter into a posture of more. We enter into an hour of time and in and, and you, oh Father God. Will we allow you to transform us? Will we allow you to unlock us, oh Father God? Will we allow you to restore us, oh God? Will we allow you to reframe what we have seen in this life, oh God? No longer will we allow our experiences to tell us who you are but we will allow you to dictate who you are oh father god we will allow your word to demonstrate your majesty oh god we will allow the truth of who you are to change us oh father god we know that true transformation happens at your throne true transformation happens in your presence oh god and so we are asking for your holy presence to even now be in the midst with us on today we are asking for your holy presence to rain down on us on today we are asking for fire to burn up everything on the inside of us that does not look like glory we we are asking for your fire to hit us in our bellies on this morning. We are asking for your fire to purify our speech, oh God. We are asking for your fire to refine our thought patterns, oh God. We are asking for your fire to change the way we make decisions, oh God. We are asking for your fire to enter into our emotions, oh God. We are asking for your fire to relocate us, oh Father God, to transform us, oh God, to enter into the very depths of our soul because we know that your word separates joint and marrow, soul and spirit, oh Father God. And so we are asking asking that you would even enter into those dark places, those places that we have been hidden in, oh God, those places that we don't even know exist. And we ask that your holiness would fix what is unholy, oh Father God, that the profane that has entered into our lives to pervert our very existence, oh Father God, will be uprooted by fire and by force, that we, your people, would enter into a place and into a posture of joy, that we, your people, would enter into a place where every garment that defiles us would be removed in the name of Jesus. Lord, that every accusation in the course of heaven that has been brought up against us because we have participated in things that were deemed unholy according to your standards will be revoked by the blood of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will restrain every enemy that has come to steal to kill and to destroy 
We enter into the realm of abundant life on this morning, oh God. We enter into the realm of abundant life on this morning, oh God. For whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Everywhere we, we have been bound, oh God. Every shackle and every chain, we are asking you to loose us from it in this very hour. We are asking you to cause us to enter into a realm where we see you like we have never seen you before, oh God. Where we begin to see ourselves as we have never seen ourselves before, oh God. That we will see that we are a people who have been redeemed for a purpose. That you died for the very best in us and everything on the inside of us that speaks the worst of us we cast it down in the name of Jesus every time we have an unction to speak about what we cannot do fire upon it in the name of Jesus every time we have an unction to say where we will not go fire upon it in the name of Jesus every time we have something on the inside of us that will say because our parents didn't do it we are inept at it we curse it by fire and by force we take the very sting of death out of us oh God because death where is your sting grave you cannot hold us because Jesus went to hell. He took the keys to death, hell, and the grave. And he rose up with all power in his hands. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus that you have dis that you have dispensed to us the very thing that you went to hell to get, oh God, that we are entering even now into a place of life where we can live a life of holiness, where we can stand on your promises, entering into your courts with thanksgiving and into your gates with praise, oh God, where we can enter into a place where we bask in your holiness, where we can enter into a place where your holiness overshadows us, where we allow your holiness to speak to us, oh Father God, where we allow your holiness to speak through us, oh God, where we allow your holiness to impart to us in a way that we have never been imparted to before, that we would even today rest in your presence, that as we go to our various destinations, oh Father God, we would allow your holiness to dictate our speech, we would allow your holiness to dictate what we eat, oh God. We would allow your holiness to dictate how we interact with people, oh Father God. We would allow you to ooze out of us, that your sticky love would touch all that we encounter in the name of Jesus. That your holiness would even be embedded in our thought patterns, oh Father God. That as we write things on today, holiness would be written out, oh Father God. Lord, we thank you that your name is written upon our hearts and upon our foreheads, and that we will be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. We ask that you order our steps on today, oh Father God. Enlarge our path so our foot does not slip, and allow us just to to, to magnify your name and all that we do in Jesus name amen listen I pray that on this morning this prayer has blessed you on Facebook if you have a prayer request we I would love to hear from you you can inbox me put it in the comments uh, send me that information I would love to hear from you we're going to be back here tomorrow morning we're going to be back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right now, I'm inviting people up from Clubhouse to come tell me what their prayer request is, if they have anything that they want to share from the prayer. If you on Facebook have anything that you want to share from the prayer on this morning, um, we would love to hear from you. Put it in the comments, although we cannot dialogue like we're going to dialogue on um Clubhouse, I would love to hear from you. If you have a prayer request, send it in. Tomorrow, we're going to be praying into, let me pull that up, what we're going to pray into on tomorrow. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to pray into God being righteous. He's a righteous God. And when we begin to see him as the righteous God that he is, it will change our lives. Just as we have been um, changing our perspective on just who he is um it's going to change how we see ourselves because we are now considered the, the righteousness of god through christ jesus and since we're considered the righteousness of god through christ jesus we have to see what that means to serve a righteous God. And so I bless you on this morning on Facebook for joining me. Um, if you again if you have any prayer requests, uh, send me a message, put it in the comments. Whatever you like to do, I would love to hear from you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'll see you then, Facebook. Bye. All right.